Well, Steve approached us last year, it's back end of last year. So we decided to nip up to a local engine house, measure the original NER whistle um, off a working locomotive, and then come up with a design that we could run on compressed air. It's a fairly basic design, um, as was the original NER, NER whistle. The whole job's on the centre lathe. We machine the bell first, then the stem, then the, the base. All in all, it's a couple of hours machining. It's about half an hour to polish because at the end of the day it's got it's got to look nice as well. So we have a hole in the bottom, the air enters through the bottom, out through these holes on the side. It follows this radius round inside the cup. There's this very small parallel portion at the edge of the lip plate. Uh, it's squeezed up through a little gap and it'll hit the bottom of the, uh, the knife edge on the bottom of the bell, causing it to, to scream. But once we have all the pieces machined up, we take it to the polisher, get it all polished up, and pretty much that's it. And then they're ready to go. Mm -hmm. 